Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design. We're playing Banner Soccer 2 Preview. Yes, yeah, still Preview, even though the game is released yesterday, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. If there is any difference, <laughs> we still haven't figured out if there is or not. So yeah, I mean, I mean we're going to get this... full game. We're, this, if you didn't know, we're recording this all in one session, so... Yeah, <laughs> very late at night, and we're very sleepy. Yeah, so let's, uh... Did we read this part? Yeah, we already read this part. Basically, he's like, "Blood, you're at the helm." Oh yeah, because we were too good of good do good uh, do gooders do gooders. Jeez, man. Oh, we lost 15 supplies. That's like oh uh, whatever. Worth. Morale improved. It didn't. Improve. Oh, we can see that single burning barn hey, in the background. Hey, clan's been foraged, and then we lost 12 more supplies. Jeez. A large clump of hazelnut trees looks like a good place for clansmen to stretch their legs and gather supplies. Once on land, the children laugh while kicking around some leather-wrapped balls of rags. <laughs> you notice a varl on the edge of the clearing, silently staring into the woods. Who is this varl? He's watching a lone dredge skulk... Uh, sk grunts, stalk a squirrel. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Might be a hundred of them in the woods. The varl's whisper is still loud enough to scare the squirrel and alert the grunt. It looks at you and the varl before slowly backing up. Get the oh. entire caravan back on the ship. When it says, like, a grunt, does it mean, like, a child or just, like, a... I, I think it means just a normal goon. Okay. Get the entire caravan back on the ships. Kill it before it alerts the other dredge. Watch the dredge. Track it if possible. Back away, Ooh. leaving the dredge alone. I I want to track it. I kind of want to track it too. I gotta know. I'm just curious. I just gotta know. We're a little too curious for our own good this playthrough. You know what? What's different? I've already noticed is about this one's giving us a lot of options and like uh, instead of it being like there's only moral choices. Now we're getting a lot of um like do you wish to explore? <laughs> you take I, that I, risk reward. I think that's a good point actually. There's a lot more things that to to entice your curiosity thus yeah. far. I think that's because the world's opened up a little bit more, so mm -hmm. we have reason to be curious. Anyway, so let's watch the judge. Track it if possible. The grunt runs away. You silently follow, but stop when you discover a clearing with a few small animal bones laying around. A meager meals for one. Near the bones stands a tiny statue of a dragon, and, a, and terror courses down your spine. You want to get away from it. Oh, yeah, baby. We gotta fight our fear and take that statue. I've ne I never knew how much I wanted this until now. <laughs> Each step toward the statue adds to your doubts until your hands wrap around it. You realize you've been holding your breath and sigh with relief. Back on the ship, the clansmen discuss your whole experience along with all, all the nuts they collected. Smiles appear on most faces. Uh, yes, please. Okay, 40 supplies. Yeah, 40 That's... supplies worth of hazelnuts. Um, that's probably the name. Oh, wow. We can also talk to Hecken. That's just unusual. Yeah, we, I mean, honestly, I don't know why they didn't have this before, but like, that's cool. Now we can just have casual conversation with our people during camp. Yeah, I, I do know before there were actually a lot more opportunities to talk to people, but most people didn't realize because you don't go into your tent unless you need to or unless mm -hmm. something something happened i keep hitting my mic i'm terrible and so yeah there are discussions that you'd miss out on mm -hmm. um the two varl look deep in conversation but ivor catches your eyes and weighs you over you you be acting huh? <laughs> so they're all armed they've all armed themselves and are running from something but what you be him too <laughs> <laughs> Hacken's becoming a dredge scholar, trying to understand motivations of our enemy. It's just strange we've never seen their woman fighting until recently. Oh, that is interesting. That is. Good thing, too. We might have lost the Great Wars. You think about what to say. What happened back then? Juno says there's a darkness coming. Has anyone ever talked to dredge? Ooh. Oh, man. Number three is that, that lingering question, right? Because we know that they can have babies. And that was like the first step in being like, wait, maybe they're not so different after yeah. all. I feel like what hap I feel like that might be a conversation ender. Yeah, so I, I agree. Let's pick this one, and then hopefully this will still be here afterward. All right. A great deal of killing, but oh, you're doing hacking. Go for it. <laughs> a great deal of killing on both sides. Imagine wa waking up 
to dredge attacks every night. Back then, the sun actually set. You'd wake up to a sound and see nothing but glowing eyes around you. Ooh. Ingvar. Ingvar? Mm Mm-hmm. Ingvar probably told you we never got close to pushing them back to the depths they call home. Actually, Ivor said... Ivor never said much about the past. Oh? (laughs) Ivor says nothing. Just holds up hack and stare. (laughs) Well, he's probably got more stories than you could hear in your short lifetime. <laughs> All right, sweet. Uh, Juno says there's a com- uh, darkness coming. Has anyone talked to you? Le- oh, well, darkness coming. Yeah. But what Valkas says, Valkas say, and mean aren't always the same. They speak in riddles and prophecy. Valkas. So is Valkas, that another the name magic for Menders? Users? The Menders? I mean, the, the- that must be the Varl name for them. That could be. Makes me wonder if the Varl ever had menders. I think, actually, there's something Ooh. about that that was slightly mentioned. I don't know. Still, it might explain why the dredge are everywhere, like someone kicked an anthill. You keep saying that, Ivor. Maybe whatever's coming hit them first. Or maybe it's just a new tactic for a new war. I like having you speak the Varl. <laughs> it's not often that I get to speak two characters adjacent <laughs> to one another. If they learn to crack the ground and call a giant serpent. Then we're all dead and just don't know it yet. All right. I mean, that's pretty Everyone true. Everyone talk to the dredge. <laughs> <laughs> there are rumors. No. <clears throat> there are rumors. Some have tried and been killed in the process. A lot of... Nonsense. Skull tales about the sound of a dredge's voice making your skin fall off. So there's been no communication with the enemy. Is that normal? We're too busy killing to worry about a fireside chat. Besides, they only ever make war warbling sounds. Warbling. 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 I guess if anyone has talked to them, it'd be the Valka. But good luck getting them to give you a straight answer. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you figure out the big issues. You should know that the clansmen have been talking about us killing women and children, dredge or not. It's not sitting well with anyone, which is probably the way it should be. I say, if it's us or them, we make sure they're still st- we are still standing. I'm bothered more by your decision to destroy Iron Tarft's bridge. So that's Still the default. Still not letting that go, huh? Oh, that is the default. That's interesting. Yeah, because most of my playthrough, I always avoided destroying the bridge, and it actually ended up being pretty good. Yeah. Um, but it's strange that they made that not the default. So I wonder if, not. I wonder if they wanted n- n- destroying the bridge to be the non-ideal outcome. And they wanted that to be, like, one of the repercussions that follows you into the default playthrough. I could see that. I mean, it, it kind of goes back to, to, like, do you play as Rook or Let? Most mm. people might end up picking up, you know, it it, it depends on what their their idea of, of how to do that story was. It, so, it actually know. makes me wonder if any of this changes if we had chosen a Let. I I bet mm. you it did. I'm also wondering if the characters we got were random or not. Or I, I think that's a, that could be a possibility too, right? Let it go, Hacken. It was the best decision at the time. Yeah, ever. To collapse a bridge that cost thousands of Varro lives to build? If it weren't for your damn horns, Yignivar. Ingvar. Ingvar. I'd swear you were an overgrown human. (laughs) The two giants begin trading insults and you step away, letting them vent. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good moment, though. Uh, I went back and played a little bit of Banner Saga 1, and um, they were having a, a, the, just the, the line that gets me every time. I, I, it's, it's so funny, I, I took a screenshot of it. <laughs> it's just when Ubin's talking right at the very beginning, and they're like, oh yeah, the sun hasn't moved in a while. What if it is a, a doom prophecy and we're all going to die? And Ubin just looks at him and goes, to the depths. with." Or he, he was like, it'd be fine with me if this is how it's going to end. I'm pretty old. And he's like, but what about the rest of us? And Ubin's like, to the depths with you. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about you? <laughs> I, I love the Varl so much. All right, let's see if we can find out what that statue is. Yeah. Huh? Also, what happened to that dredge? We followed him, but the statue was there, but the dredge wasn't. He must have just, like, gotten away. Maybe... 
Uh, uh, I mean, we were distracted by the statue. Is this it? Ooh, level six yeah. Gormer statue. The slightest glimpse of this ruined dragon statue keeps most at bay. Ooh. Knockback on strength attacks of three uh, or up, and then plus two will per kill, plus one strength. I'm actually a little surprised that it doesn't have anti-aggro, whatever that would be called, like uh, minus aggro. I'm wondering if it does a knockback because it's like the because of the fearfulness. Right, right. That makes sense. Well, I think that let's see, Hacken well, we, still with his attack bar oh, sixteen. Right. We can up yeah, if we rank up Hacken, then he can wield that. Oh right, because he can't right now. Well, I mean Or we could Ivor is also at sixteen, but he can only get up to seventeen. I mean bar. Hacken is probably still gonna be our heavy hitter. So Wait, can't do that. Let's promote him. Just promote. Just do it. Promote. Do it. We don't... Oh, wait. No. No, we're good. Okay. Uh, Krimer's ability or Tempest? I think... Well, probably Tempest? I, I'm on the side of Tempest. All right, cool. Let's do that. And we can give Ivor uh, uh, Forge ahead if we ever yeah. do it. Because it actually makes sense for him because he has all that, um, all that willpower. Oh, that too. Yeah. Kapow. Yeah. Dunzo. Nice. All right, and um, I think the choice is obvious here. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> mm, so satisfying. Super hack into the rescue. Oh, he's so powerful. His attack power is now 19 mm. with that item. And as okay. long as he does the room work, he pushes them back. <laughs> uh, and he gets plus two willpower. And, oh, so he gets plus two willpower, so he might as well spend, every time he kills something, so he might as well spend two willpowers to do extra power damage. Oh my, yes. that is, you know, we were, I was talking to, to some of the, our fans in the comments section about, like, how these new items kind of um, unlock, like, new tiers of, of kind of, like, capability, right? And um, they were suggesting maybe if anything could, could cross over between games, um, like, between Banner Saga 1 and 2, it could be items or, like, artifacts, right? And my fear with that, right, is that it sort of creates a power vacuum where suddenly now, like, say the developers wanted to kind of reset the stakes and kind of, like, say maybe level three items are, are about the equivalent of a level, level one, one item mm -hmm. and kind of, like, lower that tier and just slightly increase it with the level six, seven, and eight or whatever, however high it goes. Um, but looking at that, like, the dragon thing... That's better than any level five item that I can think of from Banner Saga oh, One, without a doubt. So maybe, well, maybe they really did. Depends just, on what you needed for. But, I, I guess that's know. true, but I feel like we are seeing them choose items that are, are even breaching the standards of the last breaking game. Breaking that limit, man. Yeah, breaking that limit. Well, that's about all we got time for today. Yes. So we should. I think question of the day should be about the scenario in the woods. Um, yeah. I think. I don't remember if it was this episode or last episode where we were talking about how a lot of our options now are very explorative. Like, because we the world is so much more open, a lot of these options kind of feel like they give us the opportunity to explore a little deeper. It, it pings our curiosity. Absolutely. Um, and in the last, like, 20 minutes of gameplay, if even that much, um, we've had a lot of scenarios where following our curiosity has both hurt us and helped us dramatically yeah um without a doubt so i so exactly what's the question then oh, how do you feel about uh about the change in how a lot of these decisions have been have come up yeah specifically regarding like the first game it was a lot more about making choices that was based on your survival in banner saga 2 it feels like they're more about learning you know what's interesting about that? It kind of goes along with the idea of like survival versus living. Mm. Um, before in the first one we were surviving, right? You're like, oh man, should I buy an item or food? Probably food or I will die. Okay, so <laughs> food it is, right? But in this one, you're, you've are you gained a little bit of a back a backing that you can actually start living again and explore. So then I guess the question of the day is, do you think that that is kind of like the the theme almost of, of ah. the game so far? And if so, what are they doing to enforce that idea? Um, is it just these, these options and these scenarios? Or is there something more to that? You tell us. In the comment section below. Like, subscribe, vote. For what you want to see. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.